Okay, we got a question from XX Mildly Curious. XX uh, question is, uh, how do you improve acceleration? Um, most of these answers, right? I try to give you three options, three rabbit holes to go down to explore, and, and I hope one of them will resonate with you, with you. Oftentimes, I'm looking for for things that are effortless. Can I give you some suggestions that you either can invest either a little bit of time or a little bit of money for huge, I'm looking for upside, right? Huge upside, a lot of, a lot of results for very little effort, either invest in time or money, right? So for ex acceleration, I think you wanna check out Ziani, Kador Ziani. Z-I-A-N-I -I on YouTube, just search seven postures. He's got a book out, but he also has a lot of free resources and just putting in Ziani seven postures. He's gonna show you um, how to do some, some stretches that are gonna unlock. The, the things that I noticed when I started doing those is that I had more balance, strength, and stability in my toes. His book is called Seven Postures, Unlocking Your Athletic Potential. And right, this guy, it's not just someone who, who gives good advice. He is walking, he is walking the walk because he's 49 years old and he could still dunk on a 10 foot basketball hoop with a basketball, right? So anything that'll make you run faster will make you jump higher and vice versa. So um, he's the first resource because you could just start checking out his YouTube videos and um, he will start to, and, educate you with uh, knowledge, right? Knowledge, that's power. Um, so that's the first resource I want to recommend. Um, the second is acceleration. You want to, um, you could check out, you want to check out these four different, you want to check out the torture twist. It's called the torture twist. It's an ab exercise. And this comes, ab, this ab exercise, you want to see all the variations with a whole bunch of different, see, I've noticed if you search torture twist, you'll f see a lot of results for it. If you learn a whole bunch of different variations, then you could start to uh, use this ab exercise at home, at the gym, right? Even even if you're in a park, you could still kind of configure, um, adapt to where you can start doing this exercise. So it's important to understand all the variations. This ab exercise is taken from a book called Underground Secrets for Running Faster. If you got a little bit of cash to invest and are serious about acceleration, right, you plan on playing soccer for the rest of your life, um, I highly recommend this book, Underground Secrets to Running Faster. That's by Barry Ross. Number three, you could go one of two directions. Both will cross over and both will help. So I, I guess we have an uh, option three and option four. Option three, is just because I spend so much time using it for me personally, um, and this is gonna help improve your, your whole game overall. If you search David Weck, RMT rope, an RMT rope is just a length of soft rope that's as, as, as long as you are tall, and right, you could get any soft rope from a local hardware store, doesn't really matter the, thi the, th the thin, the the diameter you want a rope that's maybe not in the beginning maybe not too thin and not too thick something in that goldilocks range right just right like medium medium diameter and um what you're going to start to do is start swinging it around and di learn different rope flow patterns and as you learn these different rope flow patterns you're going to notice it makes your spine bend and twist um it makes you it allows it improves running technique just by the way it makes your arms move um it gets you up on it can get you up onto one leg recreating a runner's pose the one rope flow pattern david weck says to learn is the alternating underhand sneak and um it took me two days to learn but it, here i'll show you what it looks like It looks like this. Now you go here, you go wings wide, pick a side over, wings wide, pick the other side over. 
it looks it looks trivial it looks simple maybe even a tad silly but i promise you super powerful this thing completely changed my life on and off the field I'm, it made me run better more efficient i feel more balanced lightweight nimble it improved my juggling which improved my passing which improved my shooting which improved my ball striking i cannot recommend it enough i carry it on me so often that when i don't have it in my hand i feel like a piece of me is missing um the alternating underhand sneak tutorial is what's going to help you improve your acceleration because especially f because when you when you're doing this part of the un alternating underhand sneak and you get into this position you're whipping your arms down which whips your arms up and it make, gives you this nice pop and you start to you start to pop those that knee up you start to pop that knee up and you're here and you're getting up on your toe and it's a runner's you're getting into a nice runner's pose right so it's it's a low impact way, runner's pose, right? You're, you're hitting it, you're, it's pop, pop, pop. Each, each time you're whipping it down, you're coming, you're springing back up. So you're just, it's just effortless training and that's gonna help you improve sprinting. Whenever I walk around, if I go on walks or if I'm in, if I'm warming up, this is the tool that can change your life and improve acceleration. The fourth thing is um, balance work. You want to invest in a cheap, in a in dirt a dirt cheap tools, balance tools in the beginning. Could be a foam, a foam pad. It could be um, it could be a small Bosu a verse of Bosu ball. It could be um, on Amazon. There's wobble boards that are pretty cheap. Any sports right? Any sports store will have a, a cheap balance tool. Um, slackbow.com carries a slack block and why that's going to improve your acceleration is because when you understand balance balance is probably one of the most important and under underworked ways to improve your game because true balance isn't on both feet right true balance is one foot at one time and when one foot leaves the ground that's when you're balanced so anytime you're working one legged right anytime you're working one legged stability that's gonna help you improve your body's understanding of where you are in space, right? Proprioception, and it's gonna make it so you're gonna develop balance and strength, core strength as well. So that's gonna allow you to um, to accelerate faster because you can start to control, right? It's 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 more about having a control when you're unbalanced. So you can basically, um, when you can control your body, that's gonna help you, right, to decide where you wanna go and just end up there, right? It'll, it'll allow you to have better control of your body and you can start to be more explosive once you have a better awareness of how your body's moving, where you want it to be. So I hope those four things help, right? They're Kador Zayani, seven postures. Number two, the torture twist, the four variations, and that's from the book, Underground Secrets to Running Faster. The third, RMT Rope, that's David Weck, W-E-C-K. And the fourth, um, Acceleration, ba any, any balance tool. And you could also read the book, Balance is Power by uh, Jim Klopman is his name. Um, so, you know, I hope, I hope some of those resources help and uh, reach out with any questions. All right, thank you.